What's up, YouTube? Kagezara here with a uh, follow-up video to my survival knife video that I posted as a direct upload quite a while ago. I had to take the video down. It was generating a lot of hatred. People didn't quite realize that the video was a joke. Um, I thought it was rather obvious, but you know how people are. The video was about this knife right here. The 1980s Survivor Knife. Right next to the $1 Walmart knife. I think this is one of the biggest jokes in the knife community. I actually had linked the commercial for this knife, the old 1980s commercial, in my video. And I thought that would maybe demonstrate, sort of, kind of spell it out that this was a joke. I wanted to, you know, redo a video and show this knife in a more serious sense. All that aside, I'm going to be linking the commercial to this. I'm going to have it probably, I'll throw it in an annotation right here, and then I'll probably have it below the video here, and um, I'll have this as a response to that. So here's the knife right here. Um, it came with a leather sheath that had a crappy grit sharpening, uh, sharpening stone, and it's really actually quite crappy. First off, I'd like to say this uh, 420 molecular carbon steel, as they say in the commercial, it bent the tip really easy and then I had to try and bend it back and now it looks cruddy. See. If I tried I could make it look pretty again. I just don't care enough. So this knife, we got can opener here, we got a failed attempt at a saw. Full blade is 420. It is it as the commercial says almost a foot long. It's actually eleven inches, actually just a little over. Before anything else, we'll start off we'll take off this compass, which does in fact point north, give it a second, point north, point north, that's north, and then you can rotate this thing, screw this off, first off, right off the bat, two of these little rings, and then, assuming you didn't push it down all the way, you can pull out, pull out this little crappy looking baggie here, and this is your survival kit, I'll get to that in a second. And then, and there, you see what makes this so crappy is a hollow, thin handle. I would take it apart for you guys. It looks like a pain in the ass and I really don't want to do it. Our little survival kit comes with, well, almost 30 year old matches, just, just so you know. Um, this would appear to be a fishing kit. And this would be a little saw capable of uh, cutting, this is this is like a wire saw or whatever the hell they call it and as they say in the commercial, capable of cutting down a small tree so there's a sewing kit in here as well um, I think, yeah, there's there's not really anything to sew with there's, there's a, you have a needle but all I'm seeing is fishing wire, no thread so bring your own thread put it all back together and hope to god it fits and you try and squeeze it in there and then you tighten it to about wherever the hell you want. It's really, really shoddy, um, really crappy material. If you were watching, I just bent the tip. Even worse than it was before. You have to watch the commercial. Please promise me you'll watch the commercial. So until next time, this is the 1980s Survivor Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt. <laughs> and I'm Kagezara. This is the last stand of our lives We will not give up